Hey guys, I'm just kicking this ball. Whoa, where'd it go? There it is. Wait a minute. This rainbow ball hit the red ball. And the red ball moved. That's so cool, but why does it happen? I'm gonna go ask Peck. Hey Peck, you there? Oh, hi Ryan, what's up? So, I was playing with soccer balls, and then I kicked one, and that one hit another one at rest. But the one at rest moved. Do you have any explanation? It's the transfer of energy. Yeah, but I don't understand. I can show you how energy works using the Newton's cradle. This is a device that shows how energy transfers from object to object. It would help us learn why the ball moved. Okay. Welcome to Ryan's world. Oh, this experiment requires very precise measurements, just a little, uh, a little bit more. Steady. Drop everything, Bree. We have a new experiment to build for Ryan. Oh, cool. Peck super secret blueprints? Oh, let's check it out. Blueprints. <laughs> they are blue. You get it? Oh, wow. The actual blueprint paper is blue. A Newton's cradle. Uh-huh. Okay. I see. You know, Peck, this actually looks pretty simple, and I'm pretty sure we can find everything we need just lying around the office. While you gather materials, I will conduct research. All right. I'll be back in a flash. Woohoo! <laughs> Ten minutes later. Ooh, these materials are perfect. Oh, great, but uh, where do we get started? We start with the base. Oh, excellent idea, Peck. Let's build our base. <gasps> now, when using things like scissors or hot glue, make sure to ask an adult for help. So we're gonna be really careful when cutting our popsicle sticks down into little tiny squares, just like that. Now, once we have our squares like this, it's time to start on the bottom of our base. Now for the bottom of my base, I'm gonna use these bright yellow popsicle sticks. Now very carefully, we're gonna glue our popsicle sticks together. And now we're gonna hold it in place until it dries. And next, we're gonna put hot glue on two sides of our support square, very carefully. Now we're going to attach it to our frame very carefully and hold it in place until that dries. This is going to make sure that our frame is nice and sturdy. So now that we have one corner glued together, we've just got three more to go. Let's get to work. So now that we have all four of our sides glued together, we're gonna put in our squares. You know what's next? We're gonna add more popsicle sticks to further our support. Glue down on each of our squares. One, two, three, four, and add in our popsicle sticks. That should be good and sturdy. So now that we have our base finished, it's just time to add the sides, and then we're gonna have to build a top. We should get to work. We are going to add one blue popsicle stick to each corner of our base. Now we need to make sure that everything glues straight up and down. Like that, that looks good. individual pendulums. Right, and for that, we can use marbles and string. So we cut our string down to size. Now we're gonna find the middle and glue it to the top of our marble. One little dab of glue should be more than enough. 
And now our marble is nice and dry and ready to act as our pendulum. And now we're gonna do this for the rest of our marbles. Kinda looks like a marble necklace. The pendulum marbles are ready for assembling the Newton's Cradle. All right, we're gonna attach our first marble pendulum in the very center. So we need to make sure it's good and centered and nice and straight. And then we're going to hold it in place for the time being with a piece of tape. So let's see on that side. Hold it in place like that. All right, now let's place the rest. While Bree finishes the pendulum setup, let's look at the science behind how it works. A Newton's cradle is named after the famous physicist and mathematician Sir Isaac Newton for his laws of motion. It wasn't me. It was science. He's a genius. This device demonstrates two important laws of physics. The law of conservation of momentum and the law of conservation of energy. The law of momentum states that when two objects collide, the momentum of the two objects before the collision is the same as the momentum of the objects after the In collision. Whoopsie. The law of conservation of energy states that energy cannot be created or destroyed, but it can be transferred. Now, let's see how these laws work with our invention. The pendulum balls on Newton's cradle remain at rest with zero energy or momentum until they are pulled back and released. When we pull back one of the pendulum's balls, we are creating potential energy or stored energy. And it will remain potential energy until the ball is released. Once released, this now becomes kinetic energy or energy in motion. This kinetic energy and momentum is transferred from the ball in motion as it strikes the second ball, which is at rest. Then the energy and momentum from the second ball is transferred to the third, the third to the fourth, and so on. Once the energy is transferred to the outside ball, the momentum will cause the pendulum to swing up and back down, striking the fourth ball and transferring the energy and momentum in the opposite direction. This transfer of energy and momentum will continue back and forth through the pendulum balls. Yes, watch out! Hi, Combo! Oh. Yeah! The friction in the surrounding air applies force in the opposite direction and will eventually cause the balls to slow down and come to a stop. This is why the transfer of energy and momentum doesn't last forever. Now that we know how our invention will work, let's check back in with Bree. All right, and the last one is in place and we're finished. What do you think, Peck? Pe Peck? I don't know where Peck is, but maybe we could sneak in a test before he gets back. No. <clears throat> Oh, there you are, Peck. Uh, I, I was just uh, finishing up and uh, waiting for you to test it out. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think? It looks great. I can wait to see it in action. All right, let's test it out. I'm ready. Show me your science experiment. All right. Check it out. What? When the marbles collide, the energy transfers to the last marble. Isn't it the coolest thing you've ever seen? Yeah. Wow. I understand it all now. 
All right, guys, thank you for watching my video. Remember, always stay happy and rise up. Bye. This is just like Pex Experiment.